Welcome back, everybody, to an episode of our LOZ OOT 3HC. Last episode, I was a complete idiot and did all the wrong things in every single room of the final castle. So instead, we're going to try to do everything right today. First mistake I made was going counterclockwise. Or, sorry, regular clockwise. You're supposed to go counter. I didn't show this room last time because I did it off screen in a failed attempt. Um, all it is is a wolf. When you kill it, it gives you the chest. As you can see, because of the torches, you need Din's fire. And there is one left. It's above the door, which is why I need an arrow. Just like... Just like this. Oh, that didn't hit. About... Oh, come on. I hit right on it. Oh. Thank God the torches stay lit for me for a little while. I never... I always have terrible, you could call it, depth perception for when those go out. I never remember exactly how long it is. So we will need the hover boots a lot because of these imps with three razor-esque teeth. Yeah, I don't even know. Um, just get rid of this. Bemos. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it exploded before it even hit the ground or anything. Um, this room is nothing too terribly hard. If you move a bit too much, it will... I believe falling in this pit does put you back at the beginning where the room with the wolfos is. It's a minor setback, but annoying nonetheless. And I don't like wearing the hover boots too often because then it's... Like I could have floated right off that pillar if I hadn't made it on exactly, and I'm always cautious about my angle of getting on there. It does look like an imp. Almost kind of looks like a gargoyle. I don't know. Some creature that aims to kill me. And that was kind of close. <laughs> you, it didn't show the animation, but that brought that up. Always helpful. Put on the iron boots, just in case the thing decides to start blowing once I go up there. Yeah, in this one... No, I take that back. In a failed attempt, I actually died in this room, because when you fall down, it puts you just at this room with the five rupees all back where they are, and you lose a heart. As would be expected for when you fall off a ledge or something, but... Was annoying nonetheless. Now I actually have the things that I need in order to make progress in this stupid castle. And you will see exactly why we needed arrows and light arrows for that matter. Come on. Stupid rupees. Why would they give you rupees in Ganon's castle? You are clearly here and ready to make your final attempt at beating the game. So why do you need rupees? You can't buy anything in here. Anyway, yeah, this happens. For whatever reason, all the sages are already in here. This is one of those times when they are actually being useful. As opposed to just, quote-unquote, guarding their whatever temple. Thankfully, we already did this room as well. Make sure those enemies don't come sliding at me. They have a tendency to do that. How did I... Wait. Does it count that I did it or not? I might as well have blue fire ready just in case. Yay for not remembering things when you're supposed to. But it's okay. 
Not a huge setback. Okay, what is in this chest? I have three hearts, so I don't care if I get hurt at all. Wow. If I had known that, that would have been a lot more useful in the first run. Whatever. Now, this puzzle... As you can see, I'm not the most... Um, what's even the right word to use? I'm not the, mo the, the one to remember things about this place the most. No, that didn't even make sense. You know what I mean. Uh, fairy still in here? It is. Don't care. Really don't care now, because even if I did decide to have fairies in bottles, which of course I can't, I have the blue fire in it anyway, and I have three hearts, so... Never needed you, fairy. Oh, it is already pressed. Then why is the timer still going? That's weird. But the timer stopped when you hit the switch. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm remembering that incorrectly. I don't know. I'm always going to check these uh, jars just in case they do give us something valuable. Magic, of course, is helpful. I could use some arrows, though. That way I could go... Oh, look! An arrow! Aren't these game designers wonderful? Never did play that game, actually, for those of you who got what reference that was. <laughs> And it, I haven't been pointing it out, but each uh, sage says something different as their last little thing, sort of like they did in the uh, in the sages realm, realm of the sages. Tomato, potato, tomato, potato. You know what I mean? Yeah, figuring out this room was kind of a bitch, but I do remember what I need to do. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, Saria just said, hurry up, Link. Rudo says, hurry up. I don't remember exactly what comes after that. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Wait, what? Can I make it all the way to those platforms? Okay, never mind. Looks like I'm just going to be doing this again. Now, they said I can hook on to the like like? I didn't think I could. So it, it won't even come up as a target. That obviously wouldn't work. Come on. Gotta be. Maybe the, if I hit it. Maybe it'll come closer... No? Alright, seriously, folks. Oh! Well, I'll be jiggered. That sure did work. Huh. Wow. That, that moment when you realize... Those arrows just fell off the... Okay, let's do this the right way now. And then it goes over the other side. <laughs> that would be fucking terrible, though. Now this... Um... Is it... There something hidden? Of course there isn't. Why would there be? I don't know why I keep thinking that. It's because there is back there, but not yet. Okay. This should be reachable. Just gonna get a good running start for good measure. Okay, there we go. I gotta... That's what was hidden. Okay. Um... Which switches do I need to push first? I don't remember. Uh, can I hop to that one? I'd rather not risk it yet. Uh... Well... I think I have to hit that one first, actually. Easy does it. Okay... 
sorry for making weird noises. This is one of those rooms where... Well, all these are, really. Where you fall and you go to the very beginning of the room, so... Oh, this one opens that door. Makes sense. Um, yeah. That one is necessary to get to, though. So, remember the... Remember this spot for once we hit on that switch. I swear, I think I can hop there. Just be very careful. Bingo. Gee, who would have thought that something would be on that switch when we stepped on... Or that spot when we stepped on the switch? This guy did, that's for sure. It's a big chest. It's clearly going to be the map. Or the compass. No, it's the golden gauntlets. Yep, made you wonder what we had to do in order to lift up all those other bigger, heavier... Uh, giant... Edifices that are blocking other doorways bit more complicated wording than is necessary, but you get the idea. And if I remember correctly, this is... Yeah, that's the only room. It's a big one, so thankfully they took mercy on us. Thank you! God, be make more like this room. Give me more arrows when I walk in. I need them. Can't very well take my rupees and go into a marketplace and buy them. I'll see what Impa says. Yeah, please save the princess. That's all she cares about. And when we get to Rauru, you can remember... <laughs> please save Hyrule or something like that. So if they could do this before... I guess they were... I guess you could say they were trapped in those things that we shoot. Um, not gonna do the fire one yet. That's why I put this uh, tunic on, because when you go in there... Wait, watch this. Fuck yeah. Link could have competed in the Olympics for weightlifting. Representing Hyrule! Please welcome Link! Yeah, did anybody expect anything else from the... Wait, this is the Temple of Time room. No, it doesn't make much sense, but who cares. Now, one of these chests is... the one that has the key in it. Or that one is. Never mind. Okay. I don't know what all these other chests have in them, and I... wouldn't really care to find out. I don't suppose that they'd have ice breath or whatever coming out from them, but again, let's not risk it. Yeah, this room is fairly simple. The only thing is getting to it, which is, includes having the golden gauntlets on. Still really sounds like it's very windy or breathy in the background when I play the ocarina. But, eh, what do I know? As far as I'm concerned, that's the only thing about this part of the room. Oh, this part, yes. The, uh... The Temple of Time room may not be the longest one, or the most difficult one, rather, but it definitely is pretty much longer compared to the other rooms. All the other ones have one or two. This is one, two, this is the third... And, spoiler alert, they kind of try to fake us out at the end. And that didn't really take very long. For whatever reason, I remember this part being much more frustrating than it really was just now, back in the day. Gee, there's literally nothing here. Oh, except there's a wall master. So what do we do? gather our rupees, and leave. THROUGH THE WALL! Yeah, you're supposed to be able to figure that out by having the lens of truth, but... It's 
I think it's pretty self-explanatory. And now we have saved good old useless Rauru. Oh, he just says hurry. I thought he said something to the tune of, please save Hyrule. But I guess he's just as short on words as Ruta or Saria. Don't worry, the last two actually give some substance to their dialogue. And that is some substance in comparison to how little Ra Rauru just gave us. Still debating whether it's, like, Rauru, literally, or if that's some Japanese form of saying Raul, you know. But who cares? Not this guy. Just kill these freaking slugmas again. Looks like yeah, all these doors are already open, thankfully. Now, here's what you're supposed to do. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I kept trying to use the uh, Din's Fire, but you need some sort of fire arrow, and this is the only way to do it. Uh, now that I've said this is the only way to do it, I'm going to fail at it for about... Okay, get out of the way, other thing. <sighs> Come on. I know this can be done. I saw a video of it being done. It just needs very specific... If this stupid diamond wasn't right there, I could fit right next to this... Like, see, okay, there it is. And I need to be right in front of this torch here. But... Maybe... I can... No, sometimes when it gets close enough to the fire, it... Ah, see, look at this. I'm already on the other side of it. What the hell? Oh, there, it's, it, it, it's catching fire a little bit. Totally not related to the second book of the Hunger Games trilogy. Catching fire. I haven't read those, for the record. My girlfriend's read all of them and loves them, though. Movie was good, but I digress. Come on. I don't want to waste all my arrows on this. Okay, it's right there. This should be enough of an view of it to where I can aim at it more or less precisely. Come on, just barely in there. Is this... Oh, come on, it's on fire! Thank you! Jeez, that was painstaking and laborious enough. Now I'm gonna get all the wrong ones, and all these wall masters are gonna ruin my shit. Oh gee, if only I'd shined a light on them. Then they would die immediately. Speaking of shining a light, it looked like it was glitching out there for a second. Oh, it doesn't work. Whatever. So yeah, that took long enough. Finally, we can get rid of... Deku nuts? Really? What enemy in this entire castle can I use Deku Nuts on? There is none. Not one single enemy that I could use it on effectively. Not even the Stalfos. Spoiler alert. Okay, Naburu says, hurry up, kid. There you go. Differentiates her from the others. Cutting edge graphics for the modern age gamer. These were at the time, I will admit that. I remember being completely blown away by this 3D platformer. I was like, oh my god, what is this madness? And now, the be all end all room. I'm gonna save, because I'm probably gonna die a couple times. For those of you who know, you know how terrible this room can get. Having the hover boots on on this platform, it sinks otherwise. But for whatever reason, the hover boots help. If you 
fall into the lava, it's not like you're getting hurt as if you were in the fire temple. No, you actually lose a heart and go back. It's as if you're pretty much falling into a pit akin to the other rooms. And I totally missed the rupee. Good job, Link. Good job. Because it's your fault, not mine. <laughs> okay. So truth be told, these are not too hard. But here's why you need to complete this after getting the gauntlets, by the way. Because you lift this up. And in a failed attempt, I showed that getting to one of those rupees back there was near impossible. But now it's possible! <laughs> okay. Now I will show it. Or, rather, I might as well get this one first. Now, even with the hover boots on, these platforms still sinking. Not that it matters too terribly much, because you're only going to be on them for half a second. I'm actually not dying yet. It's good news. Get rid of this slugma. Should have known that hookshots just stun them. That's pretty much how it happens for every enemy in this game. Except the giant Skulltulas. Now, I tried getting across to this one without this pillar right here, but it's necessary. Trust me. And it sinks. Don't drop me, don't drop me, don't drop me. What? Oh, but the rupees are all collected anyway? Guess who's not complaining about this? This guy. Now we'll just move on. And from what I remember, this is the only room of the fire room. Yep. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. And now it's time. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Mm, Could have used an arrow, but I digress. Now it's time for my favorite of the sages. Durni is just the coolest. I don't care what anybody says. Kind of thrusted there. That was odd. Yeah! Hurry up, brother! Never stop mentioning the fact that we're brothers. Ever! It's not really a problem, it's just kind of funny <laughs> how he does it all the time. So now that all that is gone... Yeah, that. The, you know, the, the doorway to the top of the castle doesn't look any less ominous since we took that weird rotating aura of evil magic away from it. Now we can properly equip ourselves to look like the Hero of Time. With, of course, golden gauntlets. And a funky shield. So, yeah, it's time for our final foray into the, to the castle. So next time, we've made a lot of progress, so next time we will be scaling the castle, and it'll be tons of fun, and we'll hopefully end the game. And there are keys, oh my god. No, so many keys. Go away. Okay. Uh, I got my adrenaline running. <laughs> I guess I can end the video now. Is there another one? Well, my little target practice before I go. Okay. Now, is that everything? It should be. Okay. So, like I said, now we'll save, and next time we will tackle on the final part of the castle. Until next time, guys, see you all later.